Hi guys and welcome to my review of Book on Hero Academia chapter 156 and 157. Um, these chapters are more or less very area centric. Uh, we see her make some choices, we see her quirk and find out what it is. Um, and it seems, or we know that now that her quirk is the ability to rewind things and we also know that she does not know how to use it. And so far the only thing that Shizaki has used to like stop her when she uses a quirk is basically to reset her. Um, which, you know. Uh, one thing I found really cute throughout these two chapters, and especially the last, latest, latest one, um, is the fact that Chisaga keeps calling her quirk a curse and demands that she return to her side because she is just a cursed child. And then by the end of this chapter, Deku is like, it's such a nice, kind quirk. Will you lend it to me? So we can defeat Chisaki, basically. Um, and I think that's really cute because Deku and Mirio has fought so they have fought so hard to save her and make sure she's safe and away from Chisagi and they just show her a lot of kindness that she's never really had and I think that's really cute that they just like instantly or he instantly says it's such a kind quirk and he's she's been told her entire life that it's a cursed quirk so that's really sweet um but I like the way that Deku decides to use her quirk because she is she doesn't know how to control it and she just kind of subconsciously did so. Um, so now, as long as she's touching him, she's rewinding him to whatever state he's rewinding to. Um, so his plan is to just fuck up his body and let her uh, rewind it to not being fucked up. <laughs> Which I think is smart. I, I do want to uh, like uh, pull up the topic of her quirk being kind of OP because it's like oh you have the power to rewind stuff so you could probably bring people back from the dead or reverse major injuries that could have like serious effects um, like Mirio having taken his quirk away um, but the thing about it is she does she doesn't know how to control his quirk um, like even now she's just rewinding him with like she, there's no stopping her literally like there's nothing she can do about it she's just she just keeps writing him as if he doesn't do anything he might just I don't know be re uh, rewinded into a baby who knows um, so I like the aspect of um, her quirk that quirk being in the hand of a child who does not know how to use it and has never been taught how to use it and has always just been like released it and then hoped someone would stop her for her um, so I like that aspect. It, it's kind of like how I think All Might, not All Might, um, well All Might as well, but more uh, that night I will die because his quirk is also pretty OP. Like you can see into the future, that's pretty scary and it's a pretty good quirk that could be useful for many things. But if he dies, it's not like One Piece where the quirk just, or the power just goes into a fruit and then someone else can have it. It's like it's gone forever unless someone somewhere is born with the same quirk. Um, so... I like that, that even if, when you have people who have very, very strong or s crazy abilities, they're usually in characters who either can't utilize it or uh, they're like, they have another barrier that makes it so that the quirk won't be like, just, th there's no excuse to just use this quirk whenever they're in trouble. Um, so I really like that. Um, I hope that, because I, I, we, uh, we... <laughs> I have talked with some people in the comments about how it would be nice if Mirio kept ha not having his quirk at least for uh, a period of time. Um, but it would be cool if like they save Eri here and in the coming months or years she learns how to control her quirk and at some point she can maybe give him his quirk back. Um, I think that would be very poetic so Mirio and Daku saved her and in turn she saves them from like dying or not being able to use their quirks or whatever. Um, so I think that'd be cute. Um, but I would like for it to really be, like, some time before Mirio get hit, gets his quirk back. Because now it seems like a definite possibility that it could happen. Um, but I don't want Mirio to get his quirk back just now. I think I think the this impact of the story would be much more... Uh, would be stronger if he were to remain quirkless for a while. Or forever. But I would hope for a while because I do really like Mirio. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. But um, what else happens here? Uh, yo, oh, we have um, Nile um, telling them that 
Deku's gonna die now. <laughs> and I like how Uraraka is also very determined, like Deku, like, until the future has happened, it's not locked in stone. It's not, you can still change it. You make your own future. Because um, obviously Deku, Deku won't die. And I think the the thing that changed in the in the future that night I saw was probably Eri using her quirk. I don't know. Um, but I, I think that something is wrong with that prediction. And I hope that was Eri. Because I, I like to think that she took hold of her own future and started making decisions for herself. Because um, that would be really cute. Uh, obviously, Deku won't die. I still do think Night Eye will die, though. Um, I think he can't have been a hundred percent wrong in his prediction, um, just a little bit, because uh, it will help him uh, come to peace with the fact that Deku is the one who has one for all. Because he did say like two or three chapters back that he still thinks it should have been Mirio, even though he's started spending time with Deku and seeing what he is, as uh, seeing how he is as a character in person and all that. Um, so I think if he like overcomes the prediction of his death <laughs> um i think that would help night eye even in, like in his moment in his last moments to like accept that he's the one who is going to carry on all might's will um i think that would be very like sweet and poetic like he dies and in his final breath he accepts daku as the successor of one for all um yeah that would be really cute uh <laughs> um also um suyu is going after mirio or looking after finding him trying to save him because he's probably in a place where he can't move um so i'd like to see what's happening there because I, I i think suyu is gonna do something i don't know uh we also have the league of villains don't know if they're gonna succeed in whatever they're gonna try to do and we have aisawa in a pinch but we don't know what's gonna happen to him so yeah um I think next chapter would be half a fight and then the other half just catching up with other people. Uh, but we'll see. I'm really excited for how this is going to go down and how the whole airy thing will end. Because, yeah. I, I really do hope that she doesn't rewind all of the bad things that has happened in this uh, this arc. Because that would be like, it would be a little bit of a crop out. And it would really take away from the arc if, if she just like rewinded all the bad things. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah. My hope for the my hopes for the end of the arc is that Miria remains quirkless and that Night Eye does die, because um, I would love for that to happen in the story. Um, but I think that's all I have to say. I would just I I'm really happy uh, that the story that Ari the, the Aries the turn that Aries story has taken. I think that I, that's what I want to say and that's what I like. So yeah i think i'm gonna stop talking so you can leave a thumbs up if you like anything that i had to say leave in the comments below what you thought of the chapter and what you think of aries quirk um and how you think it's gonna affect the story going forwards and you can leave a you can leave a comment you can subscribe if you want to and until next time bye